is Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing the Stephen King book tag. Created by Tamika from Library of Tone, so I'll have her links in the description box. She also tagged me to do this, so thank you so much on Stephen King, a highly praised a highly praised author that you believe deserves the hype. I have um, Colleen Hoover, which, here's the thing, I love the book, like most of the books I've read by her I've loved. Um, I think she's really talented, especially at New Adult, and her stories and her twists are just so well thought out and so like well done most of the time. But the only thing is I don't like all her books. I don't think all her books deserve the hype. Like November 9 wasn't my thing. But most of her books I've loved, like Ugly Love's like a f one of my favorites from her. Um, Confess is really good. Ends With Us is really good. Um, maybe Someday was okay. But yeah, Colleen Hoover deserves I think the hype that she gets as a new adult author. It's a massive book that has been on your TBR pile for a while. So this is over 600 pages. For this I actually have a King book. Am I supposed to do this? Like, like am I supposed to choose a King book? Probably not. But that is the stand which I get comments on every day to read this. Um, I really want to guys. I read it so shut up. <laughs> now it's next. The next thing you guys are all telling me to do is read the stand. I will. I promise. <laughs> Sorry if the ca camera angle moved. I had to like get my cat out because he wanted to leave and then he was gonna cause chaos because there's a jar of marbles on my shelf and he loves to knock it over. So <laughs> he was starting to do that. So I just let him leave. But <laughs> what I was saying about the stand was I was supposed to read it for grade 10 for my report because I, I did a, a Stephen King book in grade eight and grade nine, hoping to do it in grade 10, but we didn't get to choose our book, unfortunately, but I'm still really excited to read this. I've heard amazing things. This is a lot of people's favorites next to it. So I do want to get to it soon. Number three is Carrie, a classic that everyone has read except for you. So for this, I have a 1984 by George Orwell. I actually have, I think two or three, like, no, it's the animal from that I own like three copies of and I haven't read it. So I don't understand um, book buying problems. I don't know. Um, <laughs> 1984. I've heard this is really good. It's a lot of people's favorites. And I heard it's good to read now because of, I don't know, something with Donald Trump being president and like this book is a 20th century dystopian study of political mind control, paranoia, and seek best surveillance. Oh, okay, so people are uh, comparing it to what's going on in the US right now, which is interesting. And I do wanna read this one. I just haven't gotten around to it. I don't, I haven't really had like the ambition to pick it up. I don't know. I might do like a buddy read of this with someone because I think that'd be cool. Or is a scary book on your TBR pile. Oh, the book for this was Misery. <laughs> Night Film by Marcia Pessel, which I've owned this for a while. I found it in a Walmart bargain bin for five bucks. So I grabbed this so fast, but it's a pretty hyped up adult book. Um, it's supposed to be really amazing. And I really love the look of it, which I know probably shouldn't say that, but I love the end pages. They just speak to me. <laughs> And this book is also full of like case files and studies and I know what it's about. Like I think it's about this girl and then, oh yeah, it's about this girl and her death is like ruled a suicide but then like maybe it's not and then like it, I think she was like a horror filmmaker's daughter that died. Something like that. I don't know. It's supposed to be really good and it's full of other little things. So sounds fun. Gerald's Game, a book that is about to be adapted a book that is about to be adapted into a film or a TV show that you still need to read. I have Wonder by RJ Palacio. I've wanted to read this for such a long time now and when I finally got around to buying it I thought I was gonna read it right away and then it just sat there like oh I have my receipt let's see when I bought this. You know you don't you know it's been a while when like you can barely read the receipt um January 14th 2017. Oh dear, it's October. <laughs> um, but the movie's coming out soon-ish, I think. I saw the new movie cover date that the movie's supposed to come out in Canada and the US, I guess. I want to read it before the movie. <laughs> 112263, a book with historical elements that you're excited for. I have The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. All I know about this is it's a big extravagant trip. It has some historical elements to it and there's 
a gay relationship, which I'm all for. Like, male male romances are my fave, so I'm there. Next is tag some people. So for this, I'm going to be tagging Rachel from Rachel Louie Atkin. I know she's on like a booktube hiatus at the moment due to like university work and stuff like that. So when you're back, Rachel, do this tag. I also have Jay from The Awkward Bookworm. And I'm gonna have Olivia from I Live Ye for Books. I know she's read some King, so you need to do this. And also, um, the books and looks, so Becca and Mike. I also tag you guys. That was my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to check out the creator, uh, Tamika from Library of Tomes, in the description box. And thank you so much to her for tagging me. And I'll see you all very soon with a new video. And if you're new here, be sure to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be updated for when I post new videos and all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you all very soon with a new video. Bye! It's like it's